This is Chicago's very own WGN Morning News at 7. Time out for Brown Town. Hey, Anna. Hello, mateys. Top of the morning to you. We are at Mace Lake Peabody Mansion in Oak Brook, and it's going to be a swashbuckling morning full of pirates, Caribbean pirates, as the adaptation of Captain Blood happens here at First Folio Theater. The sword fighting will be outstanding. They have not only an excellent actor, but a world-renowned sword fighting choreographer that has put this together. And when we come back around town, we will have more pirate fun with First Folio Theater's Captain Blood. Well, I think Anna, with her Puerto Rican accent, was doing a pirate slash Irish brogue thing there. Yes. I'm going to ask her if she wants to throw in the Sammy Davis Jr. You're right. free to use it. Well done, Anna. Well done. <laughs> hey, Anna. Good morning. I'm at First Folio where their newest production, which is called Captain Blood, is an adaptation of a famous book. And it's all about pirate fun, if you can call it that. Lots of cool sword fighting. When we come back around town, we will have more from Mace Lake Peabody Mansion in Oak Brook. But first, Anna is around town with the First Folio Theater. Hello, Anna. Good morning, Pat, and their production of Captain Blood now live on stage for Around Town this morning. And the cool thing about First Folio is not only that their productions are wonderful, but they also use as their location and their venue a beautiful mansion in Oak Brook. But when we come back, I'm going to join the sword fighting fun. We'll be right back. Hey, Anna. Good morning. I'm around town at First Folio in Oak Brook at the Mace Lake Peabody Estate, and I'm with Heather Chrysler and Nick Sands. They're part of Captain Blood, which is a lot of sword fighting, but much more. Can you explain, Heather, what Captain Blood is about? Oh, sure. Captain Blood is uh, based on a novel by Raphael Sabatini, and it is about a man who uh, kind of gets swept up into a rebellion by accident and gets uh, arrested for treason, and then instead of being killed, gets sent to the Caribbean and to become a slave and he escapes and becomes a pirate and it's fantastic. And of course <laughs> you have the outstanding Nick Sands doing all the choreography when it comes to sword fighting. Do you love sword fighting? Because I just tried it and it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I know, it <laughs> gives you like a power trip, Nick. Absolutely, it's dangerous. You're, you're playing with people's lives up here. Okay, so how can... sharp are those swords? Oh, they'll, they'll kill you. Okay, let's try this. If you get in the this. wrong place. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and you said aim for your head. Aim for my head. Okay, here we go. You ready? All right, here okay. we go. And. And. Ready again. Very good. Okay. Boy. Aim for my head. There you go. Oh, for your head? For yes, real? Aim for my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you can catch Nick and Heather and the entire diverse cast of Captain Blood, First Folio. The show is here through? Through uh, February 26th and 27th, that weekend. And we've got so two more weeks. Two more weeks. So come check them out. And what's fantastic is that the venue is beautiful. You guys are amazing. And you play with it so well. So come check them out, Captain Blood. And God! Oh, nice. Wah! 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 Huh? <laughs> and I haven't started cursing in Spanish. Just two. Wait. Guys, back to you. I could cut them for real, but I'm just going to stay there. Hey, Anna. Hey, good morning. We are checking out First Folio's production of Captain Blood here for two more weeks in Oak Brook. This is the storm scene, and I love what they do with the scenery here because they use the sails as projection, too. Oakbrook at First Folio Theater. We're checking out their production of Captain Blood, an action-packed pirate adventure that takes place in the Caribbean. When we come back around town, we will have more of this great production here for the next two weeks. Good morning. We're at First 
First Folio Theater, which takes place and calls home the Mace Lake Peabody Mansion in Oak Brook. This is the first time I'm here with co-founder of Folio Theater, David Rice, that I'm in the actual theater portion because you guys work all over the mansion. Yeah, we're lucky to have this incredibly unique venue where we have our outdoor stage for our summer theater, but we're also inside this historic mansion. And so when we can, we try to use the entire space and make use of the incredible uh, architecture. David, let's move this way so everyone can watch the action behind us. This is Captain Blood. You wanted to adapt this book to the stage or for the stage for many years, right? Why? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when I was in junior high, my dad introduced me to the novel by Raphael Sabatini. I fell in love with it, and once we founded First Folio, I, I came up with the idea of trying to find a way to adapt it to the stage. So I've been working on this for a number of years. It's action-packed, and I understand that you and your late wife, Allison, really wanted Nick to be here, so you scheduled it around his schedule. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I wouldn't do this show without Nick to Nick actually... is in the back. Right now we're seeing Heather, who plays Arabella, uh, take center stage. But Nick is world-renowned um, sword choreographer. Absolutely. He's a phenomenal actor and, and fight director both. And I wouldn't do it without him to, to choreograph the fights, but also to play the uh, handsome and dashing Captain right Blood now. himself. It's a pretty sexy cast. And Heather is... Uh, Allison really, really wanted women to be part of the show. Absolutely. And fight. When Allison and I developed the show, one of the things we wanted to do was to make it, uh, the character of Arabella even more independent than she is in the book, uh, to make her a true equal for Captain Blood, and Heather Chrysler has just absolutely nailed that. I know, she totally does. You're here through, what day, what, what's your closing date? We're running through Sunday, February 26th. Captain Blood, and it's a wonderful way to honor Allison. We remember her fondly today. Thank you for that. Come, of course. Back to you guys.